we have Jebel Kamel. Wait, how do you say that again? <laughs> it's Jebel Kamel. <laughs> I'm sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> this is an ungrouped iron. It was found in Egypt in 2009. This is actually the very last slice that we have in our inventory. These were very popular. This gorgeous, polished, triangular shaped slice actually has an inclusion. Um, this has provenance from Spock. It was purchased in <laughs> 2025 at the Tucson Rock Show. This is a 30.14 gram specimen and it costs $181. And I'll be honest with you, this is a very special slice of Gebel Kamel with a beautiful, perfect mirror finish on it. It's so amazing. You can actually see the micro Vidmanstatin pattern in it, as well as all these inclusions have rings of other metals around them. It is really seriously a striking piece with an external edge as well. I sat in Tucson at box place and literally went through every single slice and picked out only the best. The crew uh, on our weekly hangout had a chance and picked through all of them. I don't know why this one was left. It's as good as all the other ones, but it's still here and it's how much? I actually thought about that myself, and I realized that everybody had probably bought one by then. Yeah, that's, that's probably why it's left. Everyone has one. Um, this one is 30.14 grams, and it costs $181. And it really is a great example of a meteorite, uh, of the Gebel Kamel um, ungrouped iron. And I find it amazing knowing what it looks like before it's cut and polished. Yeah. They could oh, not look wow. any more different. That, yeah, check that out right there. Screensaver. Next up, we have Brahin. This is a palisite main group found in uh, Belarus in 1810. This is a coated slice with natural edge edges etched on both sides. It's 14.09 grams and costs $140. <laughs> Super beautiful. This is amazing. The olivine in this pops. Now, let's backlight it. This has beautifully translucent and colorful olivine. And dual color metal. This is a beautiful sample. Let me zoom in and show you the etch on it. Wow. <laughs> She pops. How much was this again? This is $140. Wow, super awesome. We have another ungrouped iron for you. This one is Dronino. This was found in Russia in two, the year 2000. It's a beautifully etched and highly polished. Uh, this slice has some very nice inclusions as well. It's 39.76 grams and it costs $279. This is, thank you, babe. This is a really, really super great example. I high grade every piece I buy. I don't buy bulk and by the weight. I buy individual pieces because this is what you get when you can pick out every single piece. Find another Drunino that has this much going on inside it. Most Drunino slices are just a mirror. You look at them and it's strictly just a mirror. This one has so much character. Yeah, it's really, really cool. And a very stable meteorite. So, if you live in a moist or uh, humid climate, you don't have to worry about this one necessarily. Oh, fingerprints. <laughs> Means I gotta stop recording and polish it one more time. Wow, that's stunning. The next two specimens are both NWA 13917. These are Winonites and they were found in Northwest Africa in 2020. 
These are slices and they were both finished on one side. The first slice is 3.966 grams and it costs $48. Winonites are actually named after Winona, Arizona, which is Yay. where we live. Well, this, not in the exact town, but not, Arizona. No, Remember Arizona. <laughs> I don't even know where Winona, Arizona is. <laughs> yeah, the Winonites are pretty, I mean, they're not easy to recognize, but that metal, the dispersal of metal in there is very telling of a Winonite. Let's look at the other one and then we'll, we'll come back to this one as well. The other slice is 5.016 grams and it costs $61. Uh, yeah, the Winonites are related to the silicate inclusions found in 1AB complex irons. That's actually IAB. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, that's they're really similar. Winonites, you know, meteorites are a sliding scale. Once it slides out of one classification, it falls into another sometimes. And the 1AB irons and the silicated irons are really close to the winonites. If you look at them from a certain view, like look at it right here, you don't see really any metal. You see silicates. It looks like a chondrite. But then you look at it and it's way too much metal, but there's no chondrules. So these are Winonites and they're fairly rare. These are, these are nice, good samples to put in your collection because they are very good examples of what a Winonite looks like. Very good metal dispersal, but they're not gonna break the bank. They're still relatively small. I'll be honest with you, this, uh, this three gram one, three point, what is it? 3.9? How much is that? For le less than $50. It's yeah. only $48. This is the better of the two, in my opinion. Look at that. It's got really good metal on there. And you're right. Um, they're rare. We still have less than 100 Winonite classifications. Wow. We're at 90, 99. Super cool. <laughs> we have five Semchen pieces to share with you. Uh, Semchen is a palisite uh, main group. It was found in Russia in 1967, and most of the uh, Semchens that we have here are all metal Semchen. Yeah, and the ones we have are really good for jewelry, to be honest with you. We have, we're going to go through each one individually, and Sue's going to give us full details, but this one, these three right here are the heat-treated ones, and they have a different color to them, and these two are the rhodium-plated, so let's get into each one. For our first specimen, this is a square cut all metal slice. It is about 1.7 to 1.8 millimeters thick. It is 22.6 millimeters on two sides and 22.7 millimeters on the other two sides. It is 7.34 grams and it costs $74. And it's really striking. The difference in the metals here really stands out. And then you still have some Vidmanstatin pattern. I'll show you on the other side. Those are Newman lines, not scratches. And here you see some nice Vidmanstatin pattern. So what was the weight of this one one more time, Vid? 7.34 grams. As Topher previously mentioned, these next three specimens are heat-treated Semchens. They're coated in heat-treated slices. They are all rectangular shaped. They have very gorgeous etches on them. They're really cool pieces and were made specifically for jewelry. The specimen that you see now is 11.95 grams. It is $144. And really super cool. The next one, babe, is, uh, well, almost the same exact size, huh? It is almost the same size. Same and weight. It's the same price. It is, um, yeah, 11.97 grams, and it also costs $144. Wow, this is super unique. This is totally different than the other one. So we have two of them. Let me zoom out a tiny bit. We have two of them that are rectangular, and this one right now that we're looking at, the 11.97, is more of a square one. It's just a thicker rectangle. Yeah, there you go. Wow. The, um, really cool. 
I think my favorite was the 11.95, the first one you showed, oh, but they're really? all really gorgeous. Yeah, this one's striking. Let's look at the last one up close. The last one is 13.24 grams, and this one is $159. The really cool thing about um, these specimens is that they appear to be different colors depending on the angle and the lighting that you're yeah. viewing them. They, they just, they're, you could get lost in them. Yeah. And these, these are really unique. I, I really only got these for the, uh, we get a lot of people asking us for jewelry or meteorites for jewelry. And some people might know I'm against that kind of at, at most of the time, but these right here are absolutely designed and engineered and made for jewelry. All right. Especially these last two. These are, these are super special, right, babe? Yes, this is a two-slice set. Uh, this is a rhodium-plated semchen. Uh, there's a 1.77-gram slice and that's, a 4.99-gram slice. This is the 1.71. one. That's, that's the 4.99. Oh, is it? Oh, oh you're, right. Right. you're right. You're um, right. It is a total of 6.76 grams for $82. Wow. They are really shiny. Wow, this is super cool. This is 100% meteoritic looking. You actually have the external part of the meteorite, the internal part. Yeah, that's beautiful. A little bit of olivine in there as well. And it's rhodium plated, so if you're doing jewelry, you know that that's good. Uh, the other one is the smaller one, the 1 1.8 gram one. This is part of the two slice oh. set. So these are sold together for $82. Yeah, someone has to be, wow, that almost looks like a Superman crest. I just noticed that. Mm -hmm. Wow. If there's any artists or jewelers out there, We'll probably make something super special out of this. Uh, it's a him and her set, honestly. Look at that. She gets the pendant, and he gets the uh, cufflink. So that's <laughs> our uh, our sampling of Semchen, basically all iron, like Sue said, and prepared different ways to give you a different look and more geared towards those who are doing jewelry. They're all available, right, babe? They're all available, and yes, you're right. They're all very unique from each other and all beautiful in their own way. Next up, we have one of Topher's favorite meteorites, uh, but he tells me it's like a lot of people's favorites. Every, <laughs> everyone needs to have Bono. <laughs> and I always mix this up with irons, but it's actually a mesosiderite B4. Um, it was found in the Philippines in 1956. This is a small partial slice etched on both sides, and um, Topher actually recently purchased a much larger Bondock, so he is giving this one up. This is from his personal collection. It has a, a Topher Spin Meteorite serial number. That's what this is right here. Yep. It is 13.1 grams, and it comes in just under $200 at $197. So $197, under $200. Um, as Sue said, it, it's a mesosiderite, but you're looking at it and you're going, wow, it really has a high metal content. Well, yeah, you're absolutely right. For those of you who don't know, and the, for those that you do know, still, listen, I don't care. Um, Bonox is a mesosiderite, but it was not really cared for that well uh, in the Philippines. It got wet and was transferred in, in big wood crates and did not do very well. When it got to ASU, they opened the boxes and a lot of them only had metal nodules inside. All the silicates had gone uh, away or crumbled away, but these metal nodules existed. So when cut open, this is what they look, cut open and etched properly. This is what they look like the, on the interior. It's a very, very unique meteorite, super easy to recognize, and really everyone should have one in their uh, collection. And this is probably the smallest Bondock nodule slice that you're gonna find out there, I think. It's got great provenance too. It's in, it was in my personal collection, so I've been staring at this for years. Now we have the least expensive meteorite that we are showing Yay. to you today. <laughs> this is Los Vientos 262. It is an L6 melt breccia found in Chile in November of 2017. This is a full slice, 
brushiated, cut and polished by Topher Spinato. <laughs> and he was nice enough to polish it on both sides. Yeah. Uh, this is 5.301 grams, and it is only $22. Wow, I should charge more because I did it. I actually charge less. No. It's $22. It's gorgeous. Yeah, for it's over five grams. Um, it is a breccia, so you see a lot of pieces tumbled or crumbled together and melted with lots of metal in there too. And if you look at the metal disbursement, you'll see that not a lot of metal is in the melt. The metal was in the rock, the silicate brown in there. But this is a really, really super good example. And you're not going to find this in a terrestrial sample. So this is a nice Chilean meteorite, very affordable. And you're not going to, yeah. When you give this to someone or put it in your collection, I, I, I think this is a great gift. That's why I keep saying if you give it to someone, they're going to know it's an obvious meteorite, a super special space rock, and that you're the most awesome person in the world. Thank you. Blink.